Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to restore your iPhone or iPod Touch to its original factory settings. If your iPhone or iPod Touch happens to be frozen, please refer to my video on how to unfreeze and unlock your iPhone or iPod Touch. So let's get started. Restoring your iPhone to its original factory settings is a way to repair any damages you've done to the phone by downloading unauthorized software or corrupt mp3 files. This will fix it and make it work like new. The first thing you need to do is to look at your iPhone as you're seeing right here on the screen. This is the main menu of the iPhone or iTouch with all the icons and make sure if this is really necessary because restoring your iPhone will delete all of the data on it including any pictures, music, videos and contacts. This is really something you should only do when necessary. Uh, the screenshot you're looking at right here is a picture of the iPhone or iPod Touch after it's been jailbroken. Once you connect your iPhone to your USB cable and to your computer, iTunes should automatically launch. If it doesn't launch right away, you can start iTunes by yourself by just locating the icon on your computer desktop that says iTunes and just opening it up. If you open iTunes, you should see the name of your iPhone under Devices. As you're looking at right here, I'm pointing, it, pointing to it my cursor. The little icon is what your iPhone looks like. should have your name up next to it if you personalized it and this tells you that your iPhone is connected. View your iPhone's information page on iTunes. On the right hand side of the pane of the website of iTunes you'll see two buttons. Make sure to click pointing to right now the restore button. iTunes will then ask you if you'd like to back up the data stored on your iPhone or iPod Touch. This is a good idea because restoring your iPhone will delete all of the data. So click backup to save your data. Once the backup is complete, iTunes will automatically start the restoration process. The application tells you it is extracting the software it needs in order to restore your iPhone or iPod Touch. This is going to take a little bit of time. It may take a minute, maybe less, but it usually goes pretty quickly. But don't interfere with it and just let it do its restoration. And let's go to the next step. Finally, iTunes will tell you that your phone or iPod Touch has been restored. This procedure should get rid of any problem that your iPhone may have had uh, if it was corrupted or if it was freezing and it wasn't working right. It should basically clean everything out and by restoring to factory settings it should be working like new. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Feel free to leave comments below the video. And thank you for tuning in.